The Acron fans! Welcome to this version 1.4 patch overview video. Biggest change of this patch is that pathfinding has been massively improved. The CPU cost of pathfinding has been cut at least in half, if not more, which means that many multiplayer maps have much more flexibility in design, and many single player maps have had old pathfinding grievances removed or greatly reduced. Second big change is that visibility ranges have been increased by a factor of four thirds for all units and buildings. Most notable with comm hubs, but also notable with even your starting infantry, which makes opening game scouting much easier and makes it a lot easier to find proxies and rushes coming at you before they do with enough time to prepare. Which was unfortunately rather underpowered before. Another addition is assassin mode which could also be considered a regicide mode. This is a mode that can be enabled on any multiplayer map, and the effect is that you get a starting Akron along with your standard starting units. It is similar to the Akrons in single player mode, and it is required to exist. Should it die, you lose all control over the timeline at any point where it is dead, though you can move around the timeline where it was alive in order to still control the time and, if necessary, save it. The Akron itself has no weapons and no means of chronoportation, so keeping it alive is simply a matter of keeping it out of the way of your opponents. Another addition is that when losing or surrendering, players will now become spectators. This also involves a change to the observer display that shows lost players as actually having lost, so it's very clear to see who has lost. And this means it's a lot easier in free-for-all games to deal with surrender since you can jump around the timeline instead of simply being locked to the present. This will be particularly handy for hosts who must stay in the game permanently. Another change is that Quick Play now has its own lobby. Similarly to multiplayer, you can choose which AI are there, you can choose the mode settings and other settings, and from there you can simply start a Quick Play game as you would any multiplayer game. which should make it easier to do testing or just generally play around with the game without having necessarily log into multiplayer. Hope you enjoyed that. You can find version 1.4 wherever you purchased Akron, and I hope to see you in game soon.